Solar and battery storage. It's not just about surviving the zombie apocalypse. In 2024, having a solar and battery storage system has never been more economical. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to use your home battery system to maximize profit. And make sure that you watch till the end because I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can buy one of these systems at the absolute lowest price. The smarter way to go solar. Okay, now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about are solar batteries worth it? Uh, and it really depends. But before we get into that, I wanna explain the three main reasons why people choose to install battery storage with their solar power system. If the grid goes down, solar panels are only harvesting electricity during daylight hours. And so if you want secure backup power to your home 24 seven, you need to have some sort of battery storage. Now, the way this works is during daylight hours, the solar panels can directly power the loads within the house and any excess solar production can get charged into a battery or a bank of batteries. Then during evening hours, when the solar panels are no longer producing, the house can draw down from the battery. And then the next day, the solar panels just take over and recharge the battery. And you can repeat that cycle as many times as you need, whether the grid's up or whether the grid's down. And that's why many people consider having a solar and battery system the most redundant, the most secure emergency power supply because it's indefinitely renewable and everything that you need to operate the system is physically right there on your property. You don't have to worry about uh, propane or natural gas coming in from a third party provider. So that's probably the main reason why people have installed solar with battery storage in the past. But now in 2024, there are two more reasons to install a solar and battery storage systems. And these ones actually pay you back on a weekly and monthly basis, helping the system to pay for itself. And this is especially important if your power company does not offer a one-for-one -one net metering program. Now, when we talk about a net metering program, essentially what this means is that your relationship with the power company has become a two-way relationship. During daylight hours, you directly power the home using solar, and all of the excess solar can get sent back to or, or sold back to the power company for credit on your electric bill. And so the idea is that you send them enough excess solar credits or excess solar electricity during daylight hours that it covers what you have to pull back in during evening hours. So if you look at the entire billing cycle, it balances out to zero or it nets out to zero. Well, that works great when the power companies are giving you full one for one credit. In other words, you send them a kilowatt hour during the day, you can pull one kilowatt hour back during the evening. It's a fair one for one trade. But what a number of the utilities are doing now, especially in light of California's NEM 3.0, is they're requiring you to export four, five, or six kilowatt hours to them for every one that you get to pull back. And so that really kills your return on investment if you're just looking at a solar only system. And so what many homeowners are choosing to do is to install battery storage with their solar. So when they have excess solar electricity during daytime, they don't have to worry about selling it to the power company. They just store it in their own battery and then they consume from their own battery at night, essentially only using the power company as an, the electric provider of last resort. So it's solar primary, it's battery secondary, and then only if the battery is getting too low and the sun hasn't come back up yet, only in those rare cases, then they would pull from the utility uh, to avoid completely running out of power within the home. Hey, by the way, if you're looking into a solar and battery storage system from your home and your local utility got rid of its net metering program, uh, put a comment down below. We'd like to hear from you. Now, the third reason that people install battery storage with their solar is for peak load shifting. And this is especially important for those of you who are in utility markets that have time of use metering, places like California, Arizona, uh, and some parts of Texas as well. Now, when we talk about peak load avoidance or peak load shifting, what we mean is there are certain times, typically it's late afternoon, early evening hours, where if you're on a time of use metering plan, your utility is going to charge you a price premium for electricity consumed during that, that period. Now, the problem is that's the period when there's typically the highest demand. You know, that, that 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. window, that's when people are coming home from work, 
they're turning their air conditioning on or their air conditioning is working the hardest because it's the hottest part of the day. They're turning their, their electric ovens on to cook dinner. They're maybe getting home, they're plugging their electric vehicles into charge. And so because there's such a high demand for electricity during those peak hours, the utility company charges you a price premium. You know, it's simple supply and demand. Hey, if you want to consume electricity during these hours, you're going to pay maybe double or triple the rate than what you would pay in the middle of the evening. And so what you can do if you have a solar and battery system is to prioritize self-consumption from your solar panels or from your battery during those hours. Let's just use the, the hours of 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. for example. You can program your system to let the entire house run off the battery during those peak hours, even if you were to drain the battery almost completely down uh, in that five hour window, if your strategy is to use the battery to avoid ever having to pay peak rates or, or purchase from the utility company during peak rate hours, then it wouldn't really matter. Even if you drained your entire battery, you could draw that down, get through the peak rate window, and then let the battery recharge after midnight or just wait the next day until the sun comes up and let the solar panels recharge the battery. So that's the third reason why you would install batteries with your solar system. Uh, particularly, it's one of the ones where you can get the best dollar for dollar payback if you can avoid having to ever purchase power from the utility during those peak rate hours. So is installing solar batteries worth it? Well, it really depends on how you go about it, because depending on how you install your solar and battery system could have major impact on the price that you pay and your return on investment. So one question you're going to want to ask yourself early on in the process is, do I want a self-directed installation where I, as the homeowner, can purchase the equipment directly and make limited use of skilled technicians where needed, maybe to make a few high voltage connections, but where I basically am the project manager and I control all the equipment purchase? Or do you wanna hire a solar contractor that's gonna provide full service for you, usually with a 20 or 25 year warranty as well, but where it comes with a much higher price premium. By the way, if you haven't seen our previous video on the new way to install solar, where the homeowner can be their own project manager and they can purchase an all-in-one solar and battery system direct from the manufacturer, uh, go back and watch that previous video because I think you're gonna find it very interesting and could have huge impact on your payback in the solar and battery investment. And that's a great time to introduce today's video sponsor, Blue Eddy and the EP800 solar and energy storage system. If you're looking for an all-in-one solar and energy storage system, then you need to take a look at the new Blue Eddy EP800. The EP800 is a modular, stackable, all-in-one solar and battery backup solution incorporating a solar inverter, MPPT charge controllers, LFP battery cells, and intelligent battery management system. The major components stack together like blocks and all the necessary cables are pre-cut and color-coded to enable super fast installation. EP800 offers modes for peak load shifting and self-consumption to maximize return on your battery investment. So if you're serious about becoming energy independent, then click the link in the description below. We have a special discount for you as well as other helpful resources to guide you through the entire process of going solar. Thank you, Blue Eddy, for supporting the channel and for sponsoring today's video. Now, there are a number of benefits in doing a self-directed solar and battery installation compared to hiring a traditional solar company or solar contractor. And I, I would say the number one biggest reason is to avoid the high contractor markup. Now, it's not uncommon for a full surface professional solar installation to cost 200 to 300% what just the raw materials or the, or the raw solar equipment costs. And, and there's a number of reasons why the contractors have to mark up the way that they do. You know, it's, not, it's not all pure profit the way some homeowners expect. The contractors do have significant overhead, particularly in the area of uh, commercial fleet maintenance, uh, as well as commercial insurance, particularly workers' comp insurance, since this is a very, very high risk in terms of uh, construction activity. You've got roofing and you've got high voltage electrical. Uh, but for a number of reasons, hiring a pro contractor or hiring a full service contractor is going to be much more expensive, two to three times the cost of just purchasing the materials yourself. 
And so that's why many folks choose to go the self-directed route where they can buy the materials at the best price. And by the way, stay till the end because I'm gonna be sharing with you our Solar Surge discount codes. So if you wanna buy any of this directly, you can just go to the Solar Surge store and grab it. In many cases, we have lower pricing on our site than if you were to go directly to the manufacturer's website. Now, of course, the other thing we're dealing with in the industry recently is the high rate of contractor business failures. And so many folks that have chose to hire the professional contractor because they're getting a 25 year warranty with the system installation have come to find out that, well, if, if the contractor that did their original solar installation goes out of business, they don't really have any warranty. And they don't really have any warranty service. And so that's another reason a number of folks or a number of homeowners have chosen to do the self-directed installation. Uh, again, if that's the route that you're, that you're intending to go, um, if you'd like to get a discount on the Blue Eddy 800 system or some of the other leading all-in-one solar and battery storage systems, uh, feel free to reach out to us at the link below there where you can go to the Solar Surge website, you can buy the equipment directly, uh, or just use our free online quote tool if you'd like to get quotes from professional contractors in your area so you can get an idea what a solar and storage system would cost. Well, folks, this has been a discussion on our solar batteries worth it. We talked about the two ways that you can use a solar battery system to help maximize your profit, maximize your payback. That is self-consumption as well as peak load shifting. Hey folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos that you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and also go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your homepage and on your feed so you can stay up to date with us. Well, that does it for today's video. I thank you for spending some more time on the channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.